Hey everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today's video I want to show you how to use the laser files in your Cricut machine. I've had a lot of people request this video or ask questions so today I want to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, I did do a previous video that explains what the laser files are, all the cut lines and everything and I probably won't cover that too much in this video so you might want to go back and watch that one. It's just the Glowforge introduction to lines but let's go ahead and get started so the file that I'm going to use today is actually for our welcome to our hive sign um, this is all cut out on my Glowforge with the one quarter or one eighth MDF wood and there's a couple of things I want to show you on here really quick so that they'll make sense when we jump over to Cricut Design Space I don't know if you can see this if I hold it up like this but this is actually put together with three layers of wood. So there is the outside frame, or the, the actual sign that's cut out, and then all of these little pieces, so the flower, the welcome, the bees, the honeycomb, down here the hives, the flowers, and the bees are in the second layer. And then on the third layer is actually on top of the honeycomb, we have the B and the words 2R. So there's three layers here. If you were going to cut this out of vinyl for a sign on your Cricut, you'll need to keep in mind that there are three layers so that when we get over to the software, what I'm going to show you will make a little bit of sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on over. All right, we are in Cricut Design Space, and I just opened this up with the latest update. Today is April 26. Cricut's always doing updates, but right now I think I'm on the latest one. And we're going to go ahead, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload this video. And you would, or excuse me, upload this file. And you'll do it pretty much the same way that you upload everything. So we're going to come up to Image and Upload and then browse or, or you can drag and drop doesn't matter and then you're going to navigate to where your file is there are actually five files that comes with this i'm only showing four right now because i haven't taken pictures and done the last one but let me explain to you really quick what they are the first one is an ai file that one opens up in adobe illustrator the next one is your DXF file. That works with some laser machines. It works with the Silhouette Basic Edition, and it also works in Cricut Design Space. The next one is our um, PDF. That one is an edible file, and it is included because some of the laser machines actually use PDF files. And then we have our SVG file, which is the one that we're going to open up today that works in Design Space. And the last one that's not ready is another PDF file, but it is um, your printable cutting instructions or cutting guide. So let's go ahead and click on SVG and open up. And it's going to open up, and there it is. And the first thing you'll notice is there isn't really any fill colors that's okay go ahead and name it tag it like you would a normal file and upload okay now we're going to select it and we're going to add to canvas so just like you would for any any file all of my sv uh, excuse me all of my laser files come so that they are designed to fit on a sheet of Glowforge material, which is anywhere from 18 to 19 to 20 inches. So all of mine come in at 18.11. Um, if, if it doesn't come in on your Cricut and you at that size and you want it to be the size that I've designed it for, you would need to change the width to 18.11. Honestly, with these files, though, it doesn't matter what size they come in because you're going to change them to work with whatever size you're working with anyway. The next thing that you'll notice is everything comes in filled with black, pretty much. And the reason that that is is because if it has a solid color, when you open it up on the Glowforge, it wants to engrave that, which I've explained in the other video. I'm not going to go into it in here. We don't want that in Cricut, and so everything 
or we don't want everything to engrave so there's no color but when we open it up in Cricut it fills it in with that black color you have a couple of options you can change everything to white which is what I recommend or you can ungroup it and change everything individually the reason that I do it in white first is let me show you. So if I'm going to come up here to operations and my swatch color window and I'm going to change it to white. The reason that I do that is sometimes there are pieces hidden and there actually is another B. It's behind here and you'll see it over here in the layers panel. The other reason that I do it is you have these lines these would be score lines on the Glowforge, which again I explained in the other video. They're not fold lines. We don't want them to cut. They are for placement lines or other effects in the Glowforge. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this. And then all of this right here that has my information, I'm just going to delete that. I don't need it. So we're going to go ahead and delete it. I'm going to try, come over here and find anything that is grouped. So I'm going to click on this first part and I want to ungroup it. And it's still grouped so I'm going to ungroup it again. And I'm going to ungroup. There's our welcome. I can ungroup this but let me explain. This is actually a placement line. In the other video it explains that we don't need two hives right on our sign this one is a little bit smaller than the one over here because this one is going to be a placement line and we want it hidden when we cover it with this so I'm going to go ahead and delete that I'm going to do the same with welcome that's a placement line these are our, our um, placement lines for the honeycomb. I don't need those either. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Now I have my sign and if I move it around you'll notice that there's the holes to cut out and I've also got these two little pieces that were hidden behind there. So I'm going to move them out. Now, what do you do with the actual sign piece? Well, you're probably not going to cut this full piece out of vinyl, so you can go ahead and delete it. If you are making a card out of it and you want, we're going to cut it out of paper, you could definitely do that. But I'm going to delete it. I'm also going to delete the little holes because I don't need those. Next up are our words and our honeycomb and you can rotate this so that it cuts out straight if you want to and our bees and our flowers so the next thing that you would do is you would go ahead and fill these in with color so I'm going to select welcome and hide and I'm going to fill them in with black I'm going to select my beehive or my honeycomb, excuse me, and I'm going to fill it in with like this really light cream color. You can do whatever. Two are going to fill it in with orange. Okay, now these are your layers. So remember, we've already deleted that first layer, which was the sign. This is going to actually go on top of our whoops on our honeycomb. At least it did on the wood sign. Whether you do it on here or not is completely up to you. But just know that when you cut that out, there's actually going to be one layer of vinyl on top of another layer of vinyl. Not a big deal. Let's go to our B. And you're gonna what I'm gonna show you next, you would do for both the flower, all three of the flowers, and all three of the bees. If you'll notice on my sign, these little inside pieces are stripes and I cut them out or I, I cut it all out of wood and then I painted those inside stripes orange and I painted the B black. Well, if I put this on my paper now, it's all of those pieces are going to cut out of black, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and you would do it for all of the flowers and all of the bees. 
And then with that second piece, or that copy piece, I'm going to open up my contour. And I want to delete everything except for those stripes. I'm just going to keep clicking. Those are the inside pieces of the wing. And there's my stripes. I'm missing. Oh, that's our, that's our little tail stripe. And then go ahead and close that. And then I will fill those pieces with orange. And this I would fill with black. Whoops. See how that goes together? You're going to do the same thing with all of those. I'll show you really quick on the flower as well. So I'm going to duplicate the flower. And on this one, I'm going to hit Control. And I'm going to, or not Control, excuse me, Contour. And I'm going to hide the flower. And then this I would cut out of yellow. I'm going to do a brighter yellow. And then your flower you can cut out of whatever color you want. You could do the orange again. You could do red. You could do purple. Um, whatever. So that you're going to do that for all of those pieces. And now this is ready to be cut out of your vinyl and put on a wood sign or cut out of paper to make a card or a scrapbook page. Um, whatever you want. The, the Glowforge, the laser files are completely 100% compatible with Cricut. You just have to understand that a lot of those things, those lines, you do not want. Let's say that this file had a piece that was going to be engraved. So if I opened it up, this piece would show up most likely in blue. I don't want to engrave that. And so all I would do is go ahead and change it and fill it with a, a different color that I wanted to cut it out of so that I could use it with my vinyl or my card. I hope this makes sense to you. Um, go ahead and watch that last video if it doesn't. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. Thank you. Please hit subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.